Okay, Mark, you've explained what a free radical is, but what are some of the effects of a free radical in our bodies? Free radicals have been shown to be involved, and in research shows it over and over, with a lot of our chronic diseases, diseases such as cancer, heart disease, hardening of arteries, uh, premature aging. Because of that cellular damage that occurs from those free radicals, because of those unshared and those unpaired electrons, it causes a, a tremendous amount of, of cellular damage, which okay. results in chronic diseases. We've heard a lot in the industry about antioxidants. We all know the term antioxidants. If we're talking about free radicals, how, what is the role of an antioxidant in, in resolving this problem related to free radicals? Well, that's a good question. And that really, really now starts describing of how selenium is involved as an antioxidant. Okay. When a lot of people see antioxidants, they see a list of selenium, vitamin E, vitamin C. And selenium's role as an antioxidant, which is basically to help fight off these free radicals that are being produced mm -hmm. because a lot of these outside forces that, that create them, selenium's involvement is as a component of the enzyme glutathione peroxidase. Glutathione peroxidase. Yeah, glutathione peroxidase is a protein. It's an enzyme that everybody has. It's in our body. We have it, it's in our bodies. And the key is is have the optimum level of that glutathione peroxidase. But in order for it to have the proper activity and the optimal activity to be at full function, in order to have that, it requires selenium, the trace mineral selenium, as a component of that. Okay. And what glutathione peroxidase does when we have the proper levels of selenium in our body, what that glutathione peroxidase does, it converts water, it converts hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, to water. Mm -hmm. So it's basically detoxifying our system. And therefore, it's part of our overall antioxidant, it's part of, of our overall antioxidant groups. So we have a natural occurring antioxidant in our body called glutathione peroxidase. And selenium ha plays a role or is a part of that natural antioxidant. That's correct. Many scientists refer to the glutathione peroxidase as the first line of defense at our cellular level. There you go. Because when you have glutathione peroxidase at the cellular level and you're converting that hydrogen peroxide to water, you're quenching those free radicals before they cause any damage, it, it protects the cells. And by protecting the cells, and then you, it starts to prevent chronic diseases. So you described free radicals as, a, as an atom with a positively charged nucleus with a, an imbalance in the electron field outside that. So what does antioxidants do and what does glutathione peroxidase do in to, to bring stability back to this, uh, this atom that is unstable? Well, as free radicals are being produced, let's say due to overexposure of sunlight or heavy uh, cigarette smoking or stress or alcohol, things of that sort, as free radicals are being produced in the cell and, they, and you have an unpaired electron in that electron cloud and because of that it's trying to create some cellular damage, okay. what that glutathione peroxidase on our body, if we have the proper levels of selenium as a nutrient, will convert that hydrogen peroxide to water and continue. It's like a detoxification system okay. at the cellular level okay. and really creates a lot more stability and maintains integrity of our cells. So it repairs those, those electrons and bring stability back to the cell. That's correct. It's almost like putting that second wheel back on, on that back. bike because yeah. it's difficult for a bike to function with, uh, oh. with one wheel. Okay. And that's what, an unpaired, that's what an unpaired electrons would be, would be like a bicycle with one wheel.